Hey folks, Nicole here. And we are in week eight of the Sampler Spree Sew Along hosted by me, Nicole Gilbert of Nicole Gilbert Quilts. And this sew along is based upon Susan Aki's phenomenal book, Sampler Spree. If you don't have a copy of the book but would like to join in, please go ahead and visit the link in the description below. It is an amazing book. I highly, highly recommend it. So in this video, we will be completing block number 28. It's called Prayer Meeting, and you can find it on page 31 of the book. And in this block, we it utilizes flying geese and half square triangles. And uh, for the sake of this video, we're gonna assume that you are confident with making flying geese and half square triangles. If that's not the case, that's okay. I have links in the description below so that you can watch a video where these are really broken down and demonstrated. Uh, but at this point, uh, for those of you who have kind of, just to kind of streamline things for those who have been with me since the beginning, uh, we're gonna just assume that you can do a flying geese in a half square triangle unit. So this block is super straightforward once the half square triangles and the flying geese are put together. It does look a little odd and complicated, not gonna lie when you look at the book's description. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the flying geese to the side, the half square triangles to the side, and the center stone to the side. And now we're left with these units. And in the block, they're put together like this. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're going to piece together four units that will finish looking like this, okay? So we're gonna chain piece that, press that, and then once those are done, then we can circle back around and see what other construction we can get, get into. Okay, so now that we've got these adorable little units all set to go, uh, we want to bring back in those half square triangles. And so these are all going to get put together. And so we will be sewing one of these units to the base of the half square triangle so that get, you get a finished piece that looks something like this. So let's go ahead and piece all of, construct all of this, and then once that's done, it'll be time to construct our final block. Okay, so we're back from the pressing station. Now we've got these cute little guys. We can bring our cornerstone back in and bring our half square triangles in. At this point, we're ready to kind of construct our blocks. So let's go ahead and place everything where it belongs. Thank you. 
And at this point, you you can see this is going to be like just a basic nine patch configuration uh, from this stage on. Um, and it's kind of cute, don't you think? So what we're going to do is we're going to sew this to this, this to this, and this to this. Once that's been pressed, we'll then complete each of the rows. Once that's been pressed, it'll be time to sew each of the rows together. All right, let's get going. Okay, so now it is time to finish each of these rows. Okay, so at this point, it is now time to sew together our rows. Okay, folks, there you have it. This is the prayer meeting block from Sampler Spree. I cannot wait to see what yours look like, so please use the hashtag Sampler Spree Slow Along, and I will see you next week. Bye for now.